Hola guys, good morning. Jumping on here really quick to do a breakfast and do a shout out. Um, I always like shouting out new foodie families. And there's a new one out there. I watched a couple of his videos and I like him and I want to welcome him. I'm not a big channel at all. Oh, hi, Wawa. Just around saying hi. <laughs> but his name's Skyhawk JD. So go check him out. Um, he, he's just, he's a newer, uh, like Canadian mukbang. I love to just shout their channels out. I'm not a huge channel. I'm not a small, small channel, but I'm not a big, big channel. But you still got to help out everyone. So go check him out. Skyhawk JD. He's a mukbanger, and I think he'll go far. So welcome to the foodie family. Love you guys already. And look at, my gosh, I'm so proud of Canadian mukbang. She already has 501 as of last night, so I'm proud of her. Cool beans. Anyways, for breakfast, I'm having Ezekiel bread with an egg and with um, uh, pepper jack cheese. That is what's for breakfast. Oh, and some jalapeno ketchup. That's what's on it, and some ranch. <clears throat> okay. Stop thinking of Sarge. Sarge Strong. Smash Mama. I saw your video, and it was amazing. Love you guys, bunches. Get my hair. My face. What's going on with my voice? <clears throat> Her time. Okay, so I got a little story time for you. Say up front. It was my fault. It was. And then I tried to play it off. But it was my fault. <laughs> but. I want to, not that I want to see someone get bit by a shark, but I want to see that. Anyways, focus, focus, because I do got to go. Okay. So, one block from my house. Have the phone down on speaker, literally by my knee as I have my hand on the steering wheel. My right hand with the phone on my knee. I look over, cop on a motorcycle staring right at me. Like, and I'm like, literally like, my mind was saying. So then I tried to play it off and I set the phone on my knee because it was right by my knee. I mean, it was literally resting on my knee. So then I put my hand up and start messing with the radio like I was singing instead of talking on the phone. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get a ticket. And he was in this going straight. I was turning left. Okay. So then I turn immediately. I was like, oh, no, no. I don't get a ticket. I was at a complete stop. I was on the phone. Yes. I didn't have it up like this. I had it really low on speaker. Still wrong. Don't recommend. All my fault. Rightly, I deserve the ticket, so I know I'll never do it again. Anyway, so he's supposed to go straight. I was making a left. I made the left on a small little road, mind you. Um, about not far. I mean, right when you turn, there's a street right up ahead to the right. So I didn't want to pull over because it would have been dangerous for him. Literally, I was totally thinking of him. I promise. So I, I went up. So then he put the speaker loud, like, like really loud, like, pull over. And I was like, oh, crap. So I made the right and I pulled over and he comes up like mad. And I was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, I'm going to admit I was on the phone. I was on the phone. I'm not going to lie. Um, like, why is he so mad? And he goes, what does hands free mean to you? And I'm like, um, I was on the phone with my sister. I totally was telling the truth. I was going to lie about it. It was my fault. I deserved the ticket. 
why didn't you pull over when the lights went on? And I was like, because I was trying to pull over safely. No, when the lights go on, you pull over. And I was like, okay, I didn't know, I'm sorry. So he, I need your driver's license and your insurance. So I'm like this. So I get my driver's license right away, I found it. Come for the life of me, find my insurance. But I do have another, I have two insurances. I found the one, but I said this one's just for um, roadside assistance, but the other one is I have insurance. He goes, well, I, I need to see it. Didn't want to see an app. Didn't want to see anything. He wanted to see, I'm like, we don't have that. We have like an app. He didn't want to see it. He goes, well, I'm going to write you up for not having insurance, showing me insurance, and you're getting a cell phone ticket. And I was like, okay. And then so then he goes, runs my stuff, comes back, was a lot nicer. Realized I was, I think what he was thinking is, is I was going to, try to get the information off the phone as I drove away, you know, drove to pull over and I was going to try to lie about it. No, I flat out told him the truth. I was on the phone with my sister. Yeah, you caught me and okay. So then he was nicer when he came back, but not my much. He was like, he gave me the ticket. I signed for it, whatever. And he goes, and then I was all of a sudden started crying. I was trying to hold it back when I was crying. I was like, how much is the ticket going to be? I was felt bad. It was my fault. And he goes, I don't know, but drive careful. And then I'm reading the ticket and he put like, all the information was wrong. Like it wasn't even right on there. So I'm like, <gasps> like he said, just, it was completely wrong. The information that he had on me was wrong. So as he was getting his helmet on and getting to drive off, he drove to the side of my car and I said, excuse me. But this information is wrong. And he said, like, what? And I told him, he goes, that doesn't matter. I'm like, well, yeah, it does, because this is not my information. I mean, the car was right, my name was right, but he was, like, my weight was wrong, that my ethnic back, it was all wrong. Not that that matters. I'm just saying that, that, that it wasn't correct. Like, he pulled me over for being incorrect. I got a ticket for it. He should have done his paperwork right. So he's like, that doesn't matter. Drive careful. So then I'm like... I was like butt hurt all night. I grew really butt hurt. Butt hurt. Butt hurt. My fault. I couldn't get it out of my brain though. I was mad. Why I was mad? I don't know. Oh. I was wrong. But you have to be so mean. So, if you guys learned anything from this video, don't talk on the phone. What a driving. My bad. I knew it. But anyway, I got caught. Two. Pull over when the police comes behind you. Don't try to pull over somewhere safe for both of you. You'll get you'll get in trouble. In trouble. was my fault. I owned up to it. I did my research on it too. People were going to court. I'm saying I was using my navigation and get away with the ticket. However, that's not what I was doing. I was talking on the cell phone with my sister. <laughs> So I'm not going to go to court in line. I'm not going to do it. Ex expensive mistake that I will not do again. Anyways, Skyhawk, JV, go check him out. And if you still haven't saw Mukbang, our Canadian Mukbang, go check her out. Love her. Anyways, got to go. Like I said, a couple more minutes. I love my nails, you guys.
And plus side is, it's not a moving violation because I wasn't breaking any laws that way. So I got to call the courts today and find out. I, don't, I, I, I hear that my brother-in-law just got one, but it was in another county. His um, ticket was 150 and he didn't have to go to um, spend eight hours in traffic school. So I hear that it, it, the fine's only twenty dollars, but all the fees and the court fees and everything like that add up to one sixty, one fifty, one sixty. But then if you do um, traffic school, it goes like to two forty. However, it's not a moving violation. I mean, it's, they don't. I read everything I read on it in San Diego County and California laws is that it's not a moving violation ticket, so you don't have to do go to. We'll see. I believe nothing until I call the courthouse. Ooh, my lips look nice. Ooh. They got nice points today. I don't know why. <laughs> it was just the angle. I was thinking of getting some filler. Only because I want this to bow out more. Or bow in. I don't even know how you say that. Just a little bit. What you guys think? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? In theory, I'm like, yes. Then I'd be like, oh, what happened? So I don't know. I'll probably just get the lip gloss lip plumper. I bought some, but it didn't really work. I really got to go. <sighs> and then not knowing how much the ticket is and not knowing if I got to go spend a whole Saturday in freaking traffic school for a traffic violation. Hope not. So if anybody knows, let me know. All right, gotta go. Love you guys too. Little sauce pasta later, Gator, Skyhawk, JD. Go check them out. Canadian Mukbang. Go, 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 go. Subscribe to them. Show their page some love. If you do, go in the comments. Put that Italian Mukbang Nana sent ya. Um, love you guys. Give me a big thumbs up. Big huggies and loveies. Love you guys. Hi, Smash Mama. Mwah. Toodle noodle, awesome pasta later, Gator. Bye, guys.